Understanding, Detention Center, an English Learning Guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, Detention Center. This is a term you might come across in news, articles, or discussions about law and society. Let's dive into understanding what a detention center is and how it's used in various contexts. A detention center is a facility where people are held for a variety of reasons. These centers are often run by government agencies and can hold people for short or long periods. They are different from prisons in that they're not always for people who have been convicted of a crime. Let's break down some key points. Purpose. Detention centers can serve various purposes, such as holding individuals awaiting trial, immigration processing, or juvenile detention. Types. There are different types, including immigration detention centers, juvenile detention centers, and centers for individuals awaiting trial. Duration. The length of time someone stays in a detention center can vary greatly. Detention centers play a significant role in a country's legal and immigration systems. They are often subjects of public debate and discussion. Key aspects include legal process. Detention centers are part of the legal process, holding individuals until their cases are resolved. Human rights. The conditions and treatment of individuals in detention centers are important human rights issues. Public opinion. Views on detention centers can vary, influencing policies and practices. To better understand how detention center is used, let's look at some example sentences. The individual was held in a detention center awaiting trial. Human rights groups raised concerns about the conditions in the immigration detention center. Juvenile detention centers focus on rehabilitation and education. I hope this video has helped clarify what a detention center is and how the term is used. Remember, understanding such phrases enhances your comprehension of English in real-world contexts. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please leave a comment below. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.